Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, I am going to present you our new DIY CO2 laser kit. It's actually an upgrade kit for existing frame LE5040 by Saint Smart Janmitsu. As you can see, we added here a CO2 tube. We have uh, laser uh, mirrors, one's here, second is there and one on the nozzle. The good thing about this frame that you can have a CO2 tube and also diode laser installed in front. Let me show you. So this is our 15 watt DIY Duos uh, lasers and you can also engrave on metal, different types of metals and also do laser cutting. So you have actually two lasers on this frame. Uh, the board that you can see here is GRBL compatible. We have a GRBL 1.1 F or you can use 1.1 H version and the good thing that you can run Lightburn software. It's really good software for laser cutting and laser engraving. To operate the CO2 laser you need to keep the temperature that uh, chills the tube in range from 20 maybe 22 celsius so this this is our diy uh, water chiller it has two tech coolers over there and that allows you to keep the temperature of the water in in range something like uh, 15 celsius up to 25 yeah we don't recommend to run on when it's 25 but uh, that's not critical we have a water tank here it's just one uh yeah that's two liters and we suggest you to have a bigger one you just uh, use our uh, system and you can use a bigger volume water tank uh, also use only distilled water to avoid all kind of you know green things appearing inside the tube so shouldn't be any organic life in it so this is a, a controller for tech coolers for tech plates so we use them to set up on maximum and on the best uh, parameters um, to set up on the best capacity of our tech cooling plates so this is a power supply high voltage power supply that uh, allows you to change the power of the tube so you can uh, rotate uh, this uh, potentiometer and change uh, laser tube power we have this button for uh, aligning mirrors so you use it to make a small flash uh, that will allow you to uh, focus and to align your co2 laser like I said before, we have one mirror here, second is there, and one on the nozzle. And we uh, also suggest you to check the focusing and alignment, uh, laser alignment uh, every time before you start working with CO2 laser. Here is our aluminum frame that uh, you need to cover with transparent acrylic and it will be your laser enclosure. Yeah, over there you can see a big chiller. So that's the, the, this chiller we do not send with our DIY CO2 machine, but it's regular beer chiller that can be used for chilling your laser tube. Okay, to turn on the machine, first of all, you need to start chilling the system. So first of all, you need to turn on the pump, uh, water pump. 12 volts uh, so the water now goes through the system and now we need to turn on the tech coolers so the system will start chilling the water usually it takes about 20-30 uh, minutes uh, for the system to get the minimum minimum temperature but uh, if you have a big uh, water tank uh, you can just fill it with uh, very cold water and then turn on the system and you can start doing laser cutting or laser engraving. Okay, the good thing about our 15 watt DIY Duos laser that it's fully 3D printed and you can adjust the height by moving it up and down. Uh, and we have a special uh, 3D printed uh, part that can help you to measure the range from the laser 
laser beam focus and the surface that uh, worktop that you plan to engrave. You can also use this kind of uh, lifting table. There are a lot of them on eBay, Amazon, so pretty good thing to use uh, to change your material position. Oops. Okay, so we, as you can see, we change the laser, uh, laser height. Okay. So like I said, we have this reprinted uh, part that can help you to check the uh, focus. Pasha will, will help you right now with uh, showing. So you just adjust the height and now we can see that the laser is in focus. And by the way, you can use our uh, aluminum painted uh, cards. Once you hear the beep noise, it means that your laser is in focus. Okay, let's make a first launch of our diode uh, laser installed on this frame. And uh, yes, let's get started. We're using Lightburn software, so, and you can hear this beep noise, so that means that the laser is in focus, and the speed is quite good. Mechanical mechanics of this system is uh, quite adequate, so it's not uh, ultra high precision, but it's good. And uh, let's see. So you can engrave on aluminum on painted aluminum, on anodized aluminum. Uh, yeah, sorry, you cannot engrave on pure aluminum. It's a diode laser, you need DPSS, but on painted and on uh, anodized, you can engrave very, very easily. So hope that you like this video. Now you know how you can run diode laser uh, and what you need to know before um, making a first launch of our CO2 uh, laser upgrade kit on LE5040. Um, so that's uh, really easy to upgrade almost any frame and using JRBL controller. So if you have any questions, let me know gf at enduranceroberts.com and my phone is plus seven nine one six two two five four three two. And you can check our websites endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com have a wonderful experience with endurance lasers bye bye